On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, we discuss my mum's fashion sense. Why Arthur thinks I should join a thruple with his parents. <laughs> and I discover my slut era. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and vivacious mother, oh, Lisa. That's me. Say hello, Mum. Hello. Deep down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart. And in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. Mm. But sometimes mum needs help too. TikTok, social media, viral videos, celebrities. These are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around. Mm. So I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Indeed. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth Ooh. and bring her into the did 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 digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. Oh, God, it's me. It is. Um, so if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for Arthur's mum to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note to WhatsApp on 07822 013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask in a feature I like to call Mum Can We Talk. God, I can't wait. And don't forget... Oh. You can still buy tickets. Oh, still. Still. The first ever Blimey. Mummy's Boy Live show. Mummy's, Mummy's Boy, Boy Live, Live show. show. For the 2024 podcast show in London. Yes. On the 22nd of May. Yes. Just head to Mummy's Boy Pod on Instagram and click the link in bio. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do, do, it, do, do it. it. Welcome back. Hurrah. Welcome back. Yes. We are here. We are. We are here. Whoop I like your. I like your. Shirt? No. What do you call that? It's a top. A top. Top. I think it's a top. Yeah. It's a bit posh, isn't it? it I is didn't a bit really posh, realize. But I, I liked how it matched your glasses. I didn't. That wasn't. Yeah. Um, I didn't. And you were matching with your hair before with the others. <laughs> with the stripy You're hair. Very matchy. Yeah, glasses. And quite the quite the style. Combo. Never really thought about your style before. Have you not? Well, because I, I haven't quite, got one. Is it? Is it mum's style? Oh Christ! Has it changed a lot? Oh. Were you fashionable when you were my age? Oh, think? yeah. Yeah. Really? Yes. I'm quite upset that you would think I wasn't. Drip down in Gucci head to toe? Not Gucci, no. Because no. you always have a go at me oh. when, I, if anything, I don't think you understand how much like clothes cost nowadays if they're not from M&S. <laughs> I do so, not like, actually. I buy like... A hundred pound pair of shoes, which is quite common for a pair of, for a pair of shoe. Zzz. A pair of for shoe. one shoe, it would be a joke. One shoe, it would be ridiculous. A pair, yeah, then it's... and you're like, that's too much. That's I know, I know, I know. I think I just I do buy a lot of my clothing and apparel in secondhand shops. Ah, oh, you're a vintage girly. Mm. She's a vintage girly. Fair enough. So I do, and I'm always I'm I'm hey, I am astonished by how much things cost. So I do, I do poke Aren't about in shops and go, that's bloody ridiculous. I'm not buying that. So most of my things and are still second look hand. Good. Still look good. This was second hand. Got was this it? in a second hand shop. Yeah. I like the. It's quite nice. Frills. The frilly bit. Is that frilly? It is sort of frilly. Frill. It's kind of pleated, mm. isn't it? Almost looks like it could be in June. And the good thing is, <laughs> but it looks like what? It looks what? like a June outfit. Dune. 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 Oh, yeah. does it? So, not really. No, not really. I'm, re I'm reaching slightly. Are you, are anyway. You? Okay, I'll shut up. We've got a guest. Oh, my God. Hurrah. Another one. Yes, brilliant. And she's pretty good. Is she? <laughs> That's the speech I've read. That's the speech? Um, wow. No, our guest today oh. is a radio legend. Oh, my goodness But she's me. not dead yet. Oh, well, thank goodness. She has spoken awful. or interviewed basically any artist or actor under the sun. Really? But she's yet to interview the biggest diva. Ha! And you. Same. Oh. <laughs> it's Harriet Rose. Oh! Yes! Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Welcome. Sorry for the jingling. I've got my jingle keys jingling. on a carabiner on my... I so just you started have. doing that. Are you a lesbian? Wait, I, no. <laughs> this is what, <laughs> that's is a, that a lesbian thing? Yeah, yeah it's Lisa, a big, big lesbian time. thing. So if you want to join, oh, all you have to do, sweetie. get yourself a carabiner. Yeah. Really? No, because it was actually Miriam, my lesbian manager. Oh, yes. Who Harriet Hey, knows. don't define her from her sexuality. No, no, no. <laughs> but it's because 
They're everywhere. <laughs> if I, I always just introduce her as that. No, if my you le- don't introduce me as your lesbian friend, I'd my be really friend. upset. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Yeah. Well, this now we're all clear friend. where we are. It's, part, but, it's a big part of my personality, I'm not going to lie. Is it? Yeah. Good. Mm. Mm. Excellent. But they, they're, they're lesbians um, and they know each other. Yes. Oh, do they? Can you believe? Because all lesbian. No, oh, not like that, Lisa. London lesbians. No, I didn't mention. You, I saw your no. eyes. Did, did I give a bit <laughs> of a... Don't worry, I'm single. You don't need to worry. Oh, okay. Good, Ooh. good. Oh. Maybe there could be a date oh, yeah. scenario going on here today. Well, oh. that'd be a weird one with that her son sat yeah. right there. Yeah, a, a and little bit of an age difference true. as well. Hey. And I'm not a lesbian. Age Apart from that, it was number. a good idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from all those things. But anyway, carabiners. But anyway, carabiners. Really exciting stuff, yeah. But also the fact that the carabiner has a chilli on it. It's a gherkin. Oh, it's uh, a gherkin. It's not, oh, is it, I thought it's it was pickle bit... Rick for a second there. Uh, it's no, it's just a normal gherkin. Just a normal gherkin. Because I love gherkins. Love pickles. Do you? I hate oh, I really hate gherkins. Yeah. Well, we're them. not going to get on, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for we? having me. Well, yeah. see you then. Thanks. I have to take them out a burger. <gasps> well, thing. yeah, that means oh, we get on really well, guys. Because yeah, then you get all the I get three gherkins. You guys have none. Exactly. Who's happy? There you me. Go. Yeah, but what do you give us? I have the gherkin, bro. What do you give us in return? You get our gherkins. Oh, wow. You get my get... presence, Lisa. Mm. Oh, is that going to be enough? My presence is a present. Nice. Oh, did you come up with that? <laughs> yeah, I started that. I started wow. that. I started that. I did. Oh, did you? Mm, I like your shirt as well. Thank T-shirt. You. What does that have on it? It says, um, in my slut, slut era. era. Oh. Is that mm. a fact? In... Yes, it is. Nice. If you're wondering. Well, I'm, I'm not judging. I believe the word slut um, once used in a de- derogatory way yes. is, I believe I've, well, I have reclaimed it as a positive thing because I think we should be um, positive about sexual liberation, whether that be in whatever form it takes. <laughs> I totally agree. Basically, the point is, I don't think the word slut is a bad word. No, it's definitely getting better well, and better. Well, it's changed completely. Yeah, well, yeah, well, we've funny had... enough, we, you know, I always say mum is serving c- yeah, yeah, and she is house but, down boots. Yeah, and that again, like she thought that was really bad. No, no, no. that's a high slay. Like obviously, you wouldn't ever <laughs> say slay. you're in your slut era because you're married, and it would be bad if yes. you were in a slut era. Oh, I see. Oh, can you? But not maybe be you a... could be. You know what? Like... In your slut era, could just mean you're having fun and having a nice time. Doesn't even mean you're having sexual relations. It could just no. mean you're just the vibe is so, slut. Oh, I would say so you're I could be you're a slut. you're a, yeah. you are a slut for puzzles. Yes, yeah, she's a puzzle slut. You are am I? an absolute slut. Well, for I puzzles. don't know, but I'm assuming no, she yeah, is. I am. Yeah. She loves a puzzle. Oh, okay, I do love a puzzle, yeah. and I am a slut in general. Just in like general. because it's like mm. I just love that word. Why can't I reclaim the word that was used against women? Exactly. Mm-hmm. No, good on you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll, Another I'll one I love. Slag. 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 I wasn't just a bit of a slag. slag. I was a total slag. Were you? No, that is a quote <laughs> from EastEnders. <laughs> that is a quote from EastEnders from Kat Slater, who is legendary. Oh, she really? is. She is. Can they say slag but on she's EastEnders? slag yeah. personified. Yeah. Her character. She's a slag. Is, you know, slag. But I like being, I'm a, I think I refer to myself as a slag, a slut. I like the word. I think the words... I think we should reclaim them. Mm-hmm. Arthur, would you, would you, would you, are you a slut? Oh. I, yeah, in a way. Can it be? Yeah, so it I mean, can, yeah, I'm a single man. Men can use it as well, can they? <laughs> yeah. Anyone can use it, Lisa. Anyone can use Bit it. Bit of a slut, yeah. Lisa, you're a puzzle slut. That's what mm. we've worked yeah. out. You're a jumper slut? I am a slut for knitwear, yeah. And yeah. I'm a lesbian a slut. slut. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you get the best one. Yes, yeah. um, I probably am the coolest out of the three of us in that moment. In that moment, that yeah. I, yes, I would say puzzles, no. jumpers, lesbians. Caribbean. Probably, yeah, I, I think you win. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed with my jigsaw. Mm. Well, you can be a carabiner one. slut if you want, but you have to start wearing them. Oh, yeah, I very rarely wear things with anything I could hook them yeah. on. See, that's why that's... she's so straight. You're so straight, Lisa. So straight. That's okay. I'm still Sorry. friends with you. Are you? Yeah, hundred percent. God. Yeah. Mm. Especially because you get all your clothes in the second-hand shops. Yes. Single-handedly saving the planet, your mum. I am single-handedly. 100%. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah me yeah, and yeah. David Attenborough together. Yeah. We're just, yeah. you know, that's it. What a legend. I have a life-size oh. um, David Attenborough at my house. Oh, do, do you? you? I've got a life-size Danny DeVito. You have. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're cool. Yeah. You did have another life-size person. Uh, Who Pitbull. was he? Pitbull. Oh, yeah. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Absolutely. I did take him to the dump. Yeah, no, I know. <gasps> He's gone. Yeah. Oh, so really now he is Mr. Worldwide because he could him, he could be a, he could be anywhere he could be anywhere. Could, at this yeah, point. he could be anywhere. Yeah. he could not even Dally. be a fit. <laughs> but Danny, yeah. What, what did you say, Danny? No, so when Pitbull <laughs> Pitbull Spanish, yeah, and he? well, yeah. he's he speaks Spanish, yeah, and he right. says Dale, which I think is a oh. Spanish word for who knows, darling. No, I don't know. D- 
da- da- darling. Da- 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 I think it's da- more like. Dale. Dale. Yeah. Unders- like it's sort of like. We should Google it. We should Google it. Because yeah, now we, we just sound stupid to all yeah, the Spanish dale. people that are listening. Yes. Yeah. They'll be furious. I wonder if you'd know a Pitbull song. I'm trying to think of his biggest um, song. I much doubt it. Um, meet me at the hotel oh, room. Meet me at the hotel. I said hotel, motel, motel holiday year. year. Yeah, no, don't. No, know never one. heard it. No. no not getting that wasn't the song that you walked down the aisle to, no? No, it wasn't actually. Funnily enough, no, no. Oh, that's no. a shame. What did I have for walking down the aisle? If you ever did um, do that thing that people do when they're married, where they get married again, you know, like yes. renewing your vows. I'd use that one. Could you? Definitely. Thank you. Yeah, nice. That yeah. would mean a lot to me. Well, could it? I sing it, it live? Could we sing it live? You could both do it. Yeah, I'll yeah. do the percussion. Yeah. Oh, lovely. I'd like mm. a bit of percussion. But I think yeah. we need like little gang vocals on the hotel, motel, like together. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Cool. cool. Oh, I'm, I mm. think we're going to have to have a, a ceremony yeah. f- anyway. Yeah. Renew your vows we'll ASAP, ASAP yeah, Lisa. Yeah, we we'll do that and get mm. you involved. Absolutely. Mm. That would be nice. That would be fantastic on the triangle. Yes. We'll do it. A triangle. Live. Maybe yeah, we'll do it have to live be live. Show. Maybe we'll get Pitbull oh, to come. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can oh, connect. yeah. I'm sure mm. Pitbull would turn yeah, up. Yeah, we can We can email. Yeah. Once I've got his email. I've chucked him in the, in the bin. Yeah. He'll have be, you? That's a question. Thrilled. Have you met Pitbull? No, he's no, he's one he's, I haven't he's met. He's elusive. He is elusive. He's Mr. Worldwide. He lives he? in Miami, I think, yeah. or he's always in Miami. I feel that, that that sort of makes sense. Yeah, that adds up. Him in Miami. He feels like a Miami man. Yeah, mm. does he? Yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. Don't you agree, Whatever Lisa? You say, yeah. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Who would you say is your favorite Miami celeb? Oh, <laughs> let me think. My favourite Miami celeb. DJ Don't Khaled. Bloody silly. I've no idea. I think I know your favourite Miami celeb oh, go on because then. I think you're going to know this person. Oh, do you? Is my favourite Miami celeb, Craig David, who used to live oh, in okay. Miami. And he, um, he, yes, used to live in Miami. That's where he created um, TS5. Um, wow. Which I is didn't his know that. DJ. Do you know who Craig David is? I do know who Craig David is. Seven Days, etc. Yes. He knows the days of the week. He teaches them to everyone what by singing clever, it. Do you know that man. song? I do. Go on. No, not that well. No, go well. on. No, no I don't know don't, it that well. No, I know oh, don't okay. be Craig nasty. David, no, don't be no, nasty. I'm not being nasty. I just want to, I thought, I, I'd, like to, I'd like her. to hear you sing that song. I think it, you so do a nice Monday. rendition. So it's Monday. Took her for a drink on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. And did a little, uh, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, that she, one. she knows. Yeah, did a little, uh, Thursday. Yeah. It's that easy. Did a little, uh, Friday. <laughs> I don't bloody know. I'm and making it up as I go. But I like that. I almost, I might tell him, change it to Monday. Tuesday. There we go. Wednesday. And then. Monday. Bank holiday Monday. There's a song that I really like, and I don't know who sang it. And just you going on about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But it was one about when I was. Oh, you see. No, go on. No, give yourself a sec. Thank you. Oh, she's very good, isn't she? She calms seven me. Seven years, seven years old. Is that what it is? Uh, that years. is it. Once, Once I was seven, seven years, years old. old. That's, that is a link because it is seven I days. She yeah. just said seven there. Did and you? you've gone, once I was something years old. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Okay, look, I'm very old. It's and, a remix. And, yeah. You know, it's a it, remix. Yes, exactly. But yeah. who who sang that? Lucas Graham. Never heard of him. It, it could be one. Never one heard of, of him. Never, <laughs> never heard of him. Is he any good? Does never he live in, of does he live in Miami? Slag. I want to take her to interviews with me. And <laughs> yeah. then I start the interview and Lisa just goes, never heard, never of, heard of him. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Hello, I'm here with DJ Khaled. Never that heard of him. That would be great. <laughs> that would be really good. We should somehow get you to infiltrate like Oscar Red Carpet, hundred like, percent, the oh, Brits, because yeah. you wouldn't yeah. have a fucking. Because no, you'd go, hi, how? Who are you? Never heard of you. <laughs> Matthew Why are you here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Never heard of you. Oh, I have heard like, of him. Mum and Drake. I would love to see that. Sit down. That would be yeah. that'd iconic. Be really good. I know you really like him, but I've no. I don't. I don't. I don't. You Stop. did say Whoa. that. No, I didn't. Yeah, when we did the Spotify, you obsessed with Drake thing. No, 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 no. The year that you get at the end of the oh, year. Oh yeah, he thing. always sneaks you in. You said he always, I always get annoyed in. that he sneaks in. Oh, if I rapped. Yeah, he but, always oh, gets like word. four or five on my on my artist. Oh, I'm so like, you I, must. I don't, no, but he's uh, yeah. I guess in summer there's a couple of songs that because I did like him when I was younger. Oh, um, aren't but, you still quite young? Yeah, when, young, I was, when I was a little lad, and Drake and <laughs> running through the fields, <laughs> fields of wheat, um, fields of yeah, wheat. just listening to nice. one dance, grinding on the wheat, you know. <laughs> Don't want to hear about you grinding on anything, thank you. <laughs> no, me Sorry. neither. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm in Lisa. my slut yes. era, though. That's fair enough. 
Yeah. Not, oh, in yeah. My, not in my not in my house. Actually, speaking of, not slight yeah. error, but we were talking about it last week. Mm. Um, I said that I'm if the, if there's a scale of oh yes of man mm. of manliness, man. yeah. and say at the bottom is like feminine. Fem- effeminate. Effeminate. No. Is that effeminate? Yes. Or yes. F- leaning yeah. into your feminine either. I said I was more on the feminine side. Yeah. What mm. would you say? But then mum disagreed with me. I did disagree. So I've probably got a different vibe to you, Lisa, because yeah. I really only hang out with men I, who I are more that. linked to their feminine side. That's why I like you. But you can I say that it's a, I think it's more when a man doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. That's where I like to sit. And I think yeah. men who lean too On far the into the masculine. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and, that, and, now, and now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, no, I um, I think when a man leans too far into his masculine, I think there's a few internet examples we can probably think of and won't mention. Um, you know, the, uh, that I've done. No, oh, no, no, okay, no, no, sorry, men. Was, oh, you know, I'm those like, men that oh, do like, podcasts yeah, yeah, that, okay, that right, talk oh, about okay. stuff and they're leaning. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think when you say it sounds, sometimes people get worried about saying you're more of a feminine vibe. But I think that's a huge compliment because what it means is you're so comfortable in your sexuality, mm. in your presence, in your energy, that you can lean both into your feminine and your masculine. Uh, greatly, she's good, greatly isn't she? defined. Yeah. Thank you. Really and actually, well and if you would care to go yeah. back to what we were talking about, that is exactly what I was trying to say. Mm. She just put right. it a lot better than me. Mm. I, you you I were saying said no, that he, I no, I but, said yeah. you were in touch with your feminine side. Mm. But you were saying things like, I think I'm a bit feminine because I order an oat latte instead of no, going off to a, war. Just a joke. No, you're like an East London wanker. That's a different thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Enough. Why is he yeah. like an East London so, wanker? So that's what they call people who order sort of a matcha latte. I mean, listen. I don't do that. Oh, really? I like matcha far. lattes. I had it What's yet, a matcha latte? But green. I won't lie, I drink black coffee, which is very cool. That is very cool. That is it. Lisa, I think you well know it's very cool. Yeah. I don't. I actually, I only have this. Uh, the coffee I had today was the th- my third coffee of the year. Yeah. I had to cut it out this year. Yeah. Oh, I haven't actually had a coffee for a few days because it is. Yeah. And then now, and now we're leaning into our feminine again. It's not a competition. Yeah. Three arm wrestle. Yeah. Oh. I'm drinking a tea with oat milk right now. Are you? That's yeah. good. I, yeah, that's what okay. I, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I do. What's do your favourite kind of milk? Oat. And that is the kind of stuff you get in interviews with me, Lisa. Yeah. So if you're wondering what does she do, like what's really? the vibe of her, that kind of question, that hard kind hitting of journalism. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, in fact, I should have asked that quite a long time ago, but we've been chatting. No, we're having a, I'm having a lovely having time. A great, my way of but time. I'm obviously getting the drift that you have interviewed a lot of big names. Yes, everyone but Pitbull. It's Every, so annoying. Everyone, everyone, but everyone, Pitbull. Right. everyone but Pitbull. But I mean, that's really exciting. It is cool. I do it's love really my job. Cool. I do get to speak for a living, which truly at school, <laughs> really, that was the only thing I could do. I wasn't a clever girl. I wasn't a book smart girly. And, okay. I, and I'm and i um, leaning on the ADHD spectrum. So I didn't have a great time with concentration. Oh, okay. Um, but one thing I could do f- really well was talk. Was talk. Yap. Yappa, 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 yappa. Um, and um, now I've made it into a job, which is... Fantastic. supremely satisfying to the teachers that used to oh, really yeah. mug me off. God, yes. Because it's just like, oh, no, I literally get paid to do it now, sweet pea. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, that's very cool. Okay. Thank you. So, but, but, and so, but most of the time, do you actually meet these people or is it like on phone? Did it's all AI. It's all, it's all AI, AI. Lisa. Really no, 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 but you know what I mean. Um, uh, now they, it's know. in person. So back in the pan- panorama, the pandemic. <sighs> yes. Um, a lot. So that my, I sort of basically, I've been doing it for a long time. I had a show on a local radio station called Bar, which was where I really cut my teeth. Right. Um, it was wonderful. I used to have like four guests a show. and right. I, But I met artists like Ray, Mabel, mm-hmm. like in their early stages of- Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Um, so I did that and then I joined KISS. And when I joined KISS, um, the pandemic um, oh, was, really? was fully was... thriving. Yeah. Um, not thriving. That's the not right. well, I know in, what you mean. The pandemic was in its slut era. In it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, was, it was going it about. Was going no, about. it was absolutely that getting about. Exactly. That's a really, hell. really yeah, yeah, clever yeah. analogy yeah. there. It was in its slut era. Mm. And so I was doing everything from home, which made it quite cool because I did end up getting interviews with people that you probably wouldn't now oh, because okay. they don't fly over or whatever. No. And then when we when we um, stepped away from the slut era of the pandemic, I um, started to be able to do it in person again, which is my my you that's that. my passion. 
Yeah. Is talking to people in person. Yeah. Because I think I have a, um, something about me that confuses people to a point where they are so <laughs> bewildered by me that the interviews that I get tend to be quite um, intriguing and interesting because they're like, what on earth is mm. this? Yes. Why are you asking me these questions Correct. instead of Who the are normal you? kind yeah. of questions? Exactly. Excellent. Mm. A Excellent. bit like Hugh Grant asking questions of Julia Roberts in... Love, Wait, actually. I don't know oh, what... yeah, sort of not that bad, yeah. not Lisa, that... but no, thanks so much. Of course, yeah. No, but you, do you know what I no, mean? Do you know what, actually, hound. Lisa, you're absolutely right. That is actually the kind of vibe. Yeah. So it's like I'm doing an interview for a film about space, but I will ask you what your favourite yeah, horse is. That's, that is, well, thank you. you, you, do you know what? It. That is actually, you, you have nailed it. You have absolutely I'm serving. Well you're serving I actually there said the go. word. You did it. And also, you, that was hot. That was hot. I'm not going to lie. Wow. Okay, <laughs> well, let's move on then. Let's I'm move on. I'm looking at you just to check that's okay. That uh, I said yeah, well, it's that. happened We're both now. adults. She's now. married. I'm not trying yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not trying absolutely. to get in there, let's, Lisa. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> complimenting you on saying the word. It's mummy's boy. Let's move on to the nation's favourite game. Shall yes, we? Please. Yeah, yes, let's. Let's do it before this gets a bit too hot in here. Am I right, guys? Yeah, Nelly. Featuring Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> Two lies and a truth. Yay! Yay! And this week they are, of course, all about all our about guest, Harriet, Harriet Rose. Mm. Fabulous. To Can't fame. Wait. No, that didn't work. Didn't work. <laughs> Harriet Rose to, to fame. fame. I like that. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, that was yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. That was, well, yeah, nice, was nice. It was nice. Look at us yeah. being encouraging. Yeah. yeah. It was, it's like you've got yeah. two mums now. Yeah. To be fair, I'll be replacing your dad. I'll be replacing your dad. Okay. I'm joking, Lisa. Please. Stop yeah, it. let's stop it now. Right, <laughs> which well, 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 not you. <laughs> well, actually, no, it was you. I don't know. Whatever. Come oh on, my God. spit spot. Which of the following statements about Harriet is oh, true? I can't wait for this, Lisa. Is <gasps> it a? Harriet used to work as a clown at children's birthday parties. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. B. Harriet used to work as a shot girl in nightclubs. Do you know what? Anyway. Do you know what that is? Yes. No. See, Harriet used to work as a wench at the London Dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, they're good. They are they good. They are good. Mm. I won't ask questions until... I mean, I like it when we have a guess because I don't know what these are either. No. What could be true? Join us in part two where we'll yes. find out the answer and we'll also be reading your Mum Can We Talk correspondence. Indeed. Plus... Harriet has a confession to confession. A confession. Oh yeah. For our feature called Mum, I've got something to tell you. See you in part two. Oh God, I can't wait. Wow. It's Mummy's Boy. Before the break, we were playing Two Lies and a Truth, mm. where we were trying to figure out which of the following statements about today's guest radio presenter, Harriet Rose, is true. Mm. Yes. These were the options. A. Harriet used to work as a clown at birthday parties. For children. Oh, that's oh my me God. She I nearly juggled my tea you into your, your face. That would have been went. hot, but not that way. Hey, hey. now hey. you're flirting with me. This is fab. <laughs> it's a triangle game. Getting it all <laughs> Harriet used to work as a shot girl in nightclubs. C, Harriet used to work as a wench at the London Dungeons. Okay, so I'm going to ask the very silly... I, a shot girl, does mm. that mean you, you're pouring just shots? You carry, yeah, you basically carry a tray oh, round of shots and people buy them, but they're like extremely more expensive than they would yeah, be if they were really bought at the bar. Strange. Oh, yeah. Sometimes okay. you can get them in like test tubes and you just like unlock the test. Did you have to wear anything oh. weird? Yeah, a clown suit. No, I just wore a nice <laughs> outfit. Just a nice outfit. Yeah, well, sometimes, that, you know, they make you wear like, like sexy saucy. stuff. Saucy saucy hey, outfit. everything I wear. Yeah, yes, sexy. very true. Very true. Mm. It's serving slut, isn't it? Lisa? It is serving <laughs> slut. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to get used to slut and slag not being. I think. Do you know why? Uh, I you think know, to help you with derogatory. it. Derogatory. Only refer to yourself and the people you know very well as sluts yeah, and slags. That's, that's so true, you can yeah. say, okay. Arthur, you slutty girl. Like that's maybe, okay. Yeah. Can you, I? You, yeah. Yeah. You, well, I mean, yeah, Harriet maybe, can. I don't think you. Oh, you don't think uh, maybe it's mother and son. I'm clocking yeah, it's mother yeah, and son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, so you can yeah. say to me, <laughs> Harriet, you slutty slag, like, and I'd be like, you're oh, yeah, yeah, you'd be happy with yeah, that. Yeah, you're damn right. It's a positive, basically, using it as a compliment mm -hmm. as opposed to a yeah. Um, what's the other opposite of a compliment? Insult. 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 See, sometimes I forget Thank words. Thank God for producer mm. Jack. Yeah. yeah. Without Jack, we'd be stuck here raging. <laughs> stuck here yeah, raging. 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 Okay, so um, 
the short thing, yeah, is fine. That's, you know, that's mm -hmm. a job and I can see you doing that. Um, Thank you, Lisa. That's okay. Uh, I can also see you as a wench. Mm -hmm. Same, um, big time. Giving it big wench what is energy. A wench again? Big wench. Sorry. Are you asking me or Lisa? What is Both a wench? Yeah, I, I think Lisa first. Yeah, well, in my eyes, oh God, this thing could be like, wrong. No, no, that's, that's a wrench, wrench. Yeah, no, no, Burke. No, no, no. Um, Burke is a brilliant Burke. word. I haven't is heard that for about Burke. 15 years. Oh, God. oh my God. Wow. Welcome to my Burke. world. Yeah, Burke. Burke is, I like Burke. Oh, Burke is fantastic. Burke is nice. Mm. Okay, great. Um, I want to bring Bog Off back. Have I oh, mentioned Bog that? Yeah. Off. Me and Miriam do that a lot. We do, do you? We do. do you? So you know when you were a kid and you weren't yet allowed to say fuck, so you'd say, oh, frick off. Like oh, you think fudge. of different words that you would say, like, oh, bog Something. off, mate. Bog, bog off, so good. good. It's almost better than fuck. Bog. Yeah, so good. Use your bog. bog. You, you can like really bog. Bog off. Yeah. You almost look like you're going to say something beginning with a V because you're putting Vagina. Your... No. So no, we get it. We I get mean... it. You like them. Obviously Arthur. more than you. No, but look, do, do the, the bog again. Do bog Conflicted. again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, we need there to find the answer for this. This yes. So, oh, so a wench, in answer to your oh, question, yeah, sorry. is, and it's usually a buxom wench. Again, you're using buxom. Fair. What the fuck? Mm. What? Is Lisa describing me as buxom? Who knows? I no, I'm not. What's buxom? I'm I don't know what that means. Are you joking? Full-breasted. Oh, I, mean, I, I am not. But Lisa, please do describe me as that. I'm no, not full-breasted. I'm not. No. Look, I'm just saying. I'm in getting my all head, hot under the colour now. Stop it. <laughs> I'm just saying in my head, a wench <laughs> is. A full busted, small waisted, Ooh. flirtatious serving person. You're just spitting bars here. I'm in yeah. in the olden days. Right. And gotcha. that is absolutely correct, Lisa. Is that correct? Mm. Yeah. But right. you could do Great. it if you had small tits but too. But you could do it yeah. with small yeah, tits. Yeah. But they, if they give you big you know, fake they ones. would generally. No, no, no you can okay. do it with no. your small tits. It just might be a bit more roomy right. in the buxom but dress. At the London Dungeon, yeah. surely they want big breasts. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Mm. To be true to the times. Maybe. I'm. I'm tending and I'm going to go for because I love this idea oh, that you were a clown <laughs> oh come on do you want please. me to tell you the truth now yes the answer. I'd really yeah. like uh, to can I guess as well oh you can mm -hmm. guess as well I'll go for wench. I'll go for wench. Oh. What makes you go for wench? Um, because she, I would have gone clown, but she's gone for that. Oh, so yeah, and I, 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 I kind of want to. Yeah, I, I want to see. I, I can really envision you in a dungeon. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds weird. In a dungeon. Yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, 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 yeah, cool. Yeah, that cool. does sound a little bit. You yeah, know. <laughs> that's something to think about on your own Source, time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> while we're here. I would like to reveal, oh. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I was, in fact, a wench at the oh, London Dungeon. Oh, bugger me. Damn. Come on. I'm not a buxom one, though. A very no. unbuxom <laughs> one. An unbuxom one. But wench. I did wear the did you have tight them? and the push, yes. the tits, push those tiny little tits yes. together. Mm. Yes. And they does looked... become like semi-buxom. Absolutely. Mm. I'm sure And would. we would stand outside um, the London Dungeons trying to get people to oh come in. Did you do a God. voice? Please yes. Start. Trying to oh. get like this. But I did want oh, to play okay. Nancy and Oliver, so oh, I do you? know how oh, to be an East End girl. Yeah. Lovely. So I was in training at school, really, when I played Nancy and Oliver to then um, get oh, paid okay. sort of nine ninety nine an hour. Can we, love do you too. mind if we just, if, if me and mum are walking past London Dungeon, mm. can we? Oh, yes. Sorry, we, I don't still do it. No, no, but could you No, pretend? I'm saying, can we, can we, can we like set the scene? In, in, oh, you know, okay. So here we go. You're, yeah, walk, so you're walking, walking past, past the London Dungeons. Uh, Mum, I think we got that. Um, and we, I would come up to that, behind you. We've got to go to that London. Right! Oh! That's what I would do. And I would give you an almost like some sort of, pe you know, heart situation. Heart situation. Palpitation, shall yes. we say. Um, and then I would go, hello, darling. Ooh. Do you want... <laughs> Why don't you come inside and see my wares? Whoa. Something like that. Oh. Something like that. Oh, son, right, okay. I don't think I want to go in there with that strange lady. And you wouldn't say that, Lisa. No. You know you wouldn't. You'd be straight in there yeah. with me. Oh, all right. You, however, <laughs> would be left outside and just wait here for your father. As soon as you said, come inside, I was going. Yeah. <laughs> I was going in. No, but it was um, a horrible job. <laughs> Yeah. Was well actually my yeah, manager was not very worse. nice and I didn't get paid very much was and had to work ex yes my yeah. manager was the Fag real Fagin. The yeah. real Fagin. Um we got to Your had to make not big enough. Yeah. We had, yeah. We had to <laughs> And that was my first. Grow your tits. That was the first time I realized my tits weren't big really? enough. Really? Oh, no, actually God. I love having tiny tits because I don't get back pain. 
You know, that's got, he's, he's got my favourite character from Scrooge. From having big tits. My mum, poor um, girl, <laughs> massive, massive, massive tits. Really? And it does lead to back pain. And she does so, oh sometimes God. say, really did skip a generation. I say, yeah, so did the back pain, yes, bitch. Yes, wow. absolutely. No, so um, that's good. I love good. my mum. I love that's my mum That's good so much. that you don't have back Thank pain. Thank you. Also, the girls seem to like my tiny tits. Mm, tiny tits. Tiny tits and a fat ass. My favourite character you from Scrooge. Not. I have and I love it. Don't you dare say I haven't got a fat oh, ass. Oh, sorry. <laughs> God, sorry. Fat is a, with a PH and it's lovely. We love having a fat ass. Do we? So you can pop it, you know? I'll show uh, you later. Yeah, yeah okay. It's oh, an God. arse generation. Yeah. Uh, yes. But I was born yes. with this arse, thank you. I didn't say you were. What? That was very aggressive. Thank you. It's better oh. to have it natural. Natural... It was exciting. No, in we my don't day, judge anyone for doing anything. Oh, no, I can't, we don't. I can't, I can't, I can't no, say You can't say anything. anything. Can't say but in my anything. day, it was all, a, it was not Small good ass. to have a big bottom. Mm. Right. And and I've always had, I've always had a big ass. Well, good, um, Lisa. You've got a fat ass. No, but it's not because it's just fat and flabby. No, that's yeah, there's nice. There's a difference like between fat and, fat and flabby. Sorry, Arthur. It's okay. I saw a picture on Is your internet. Ass fat and flabby. No, no but he's got peachy though. He's got a peachy little bum. Oh, that's nice. He's got a lovely little bum. Yeah. I know yeah. that sound is a bit. No, it's but not. It is, I think that's not, a normal but, thing you know, to say. Yeah, for your son. Yeah, it's, it's fine. You know, I actually tried to take no. Well, I, I tried. <laughs> I'm getting her all hot. I tried to take her. No, you're not. I tried oh. to take a picture of my feet. Well, just one <laughs> foot. Right, why? As a joke. Are you, for, do, are you doing OnlyFans, only fans, Lisa? Well, I was going to do a funny, oh, a God. funny uh, OnlyFans really? thing with my weed hat. Your mum. With my weed hat sort of on my foot with just a bit of toe like showing. Teasing. <laughs> a teasing. A teasing Be careful because you might end up on foot Wikipedia yeah. and that is a You will get a thing. creep messaging you soon. Yeah. yeah. I've had well, people no, I haven't ask. done it, but I took this picture and then I... Let's and see I, it. And then I... No. I'm so glad and then this I, hasn't happened. I, um, I, I don't think you should post called, this. Enlarged it and oh, I just God. thought, God, your feet are horrible. So I, that went in the bin. Yeah. As it, I'm as sure it you got, should. Do you know what? I feel I the same about... I have actually got quite nice feet. Well, I, do, I feel the same with you about feet, though. I feel like but you can't take a nice picture of no, your feet. No, no. I think you'd need all sorts of good lighting and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Which I didn't Makeup. have. But did your husband like your feet? Oh, no idea. Well, he's never mentioned them. Oh, wow. well, ask your dad next time you see him. Because mm. <laughs> I think that's important. You've got to, your partner's got to like the things that maybe. Yeah. Because like I've got flat feet and I had mm. one of my exes was like, I love your little sweet flat feet. That's, oh, you you need that. Yeah, you do. You need to. Everything be, else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but all but the good bits. Yeah. Yeah. Take it or leave no, it. But, but that like weird flat feet. foot that you've got. Give it here. What's your yeah. type? Flat feet and tiny tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's she's your girl. And a fat ass. And a fat ass. ass. Sorry, important. important. Yeah, she's, she's your girl. She's your I'm girl. Your girl. She's your girl. Oh, wow. Anyway, this is an where intense were episode, we? This one. Oh, so I got that wrong. Bugger me. You did. Again. As you always do. No, but I understand why you thought clown, though, because you obviously think just... I'm the kind of person to make people smile. Yes. Indeed. Not make people scared to death. Yeah, yeah exactly. As a wench. Yeah. But you exactly. should have got the clue when I wore my In My Slut Era t shirt. But it's but quite clown yeah. rainbow. But it, it's, rainbow it's, it's got you know. all the colours. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's true. Very... I was giving you so many different signals. Mm. Yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Right, it's time. Oh, some yes. mum can we talk <gasps> yes okay, correspondence let's go for it this is where we get questions from our adoring listeners and hi guys viewers mm. from around the world oh, i love that yes. like mr worldwide exactly Just they're like. all mr worldwide our very own mm. mr or mrs worldwide, worldwide. Anyway. um this is from chloe Lovely. Hi, Arthur, Harriet, and Mama Hill. Hello. A few years ago during college, I got a crush on a guy in my class. Mm. I thought he was cute and funny and spoke about him to all my friends. A friend That's of nice. a friend who I wasn't super close with told me to stay away from him oh. as she, she had liked him herself for years before and told me she had first dibs. Oh, for heaven's sake. Uh. I was too awkward and too shy to say anything at the time, so I didn't pursue my crush. Oh. A couple of years later, I ended up speaking to the guy again and going on a few dates. Oh. I ended up telling him what happened with this girl and he told me she used to be very controlling of him even though they never dated. My question is, what's your favourite colour? <laughs> I agree. Uh, yeah. My question is, have either of you ever had a crush on someone at the same time as your friend? Did you pursue the crush or did you let your friend move in instead? Oh, crikey. There's so many questions there. There's a I lot can't... of questions. Okay. Well, for a start, oh, well, I'm really sorry, Chloe. Mm. I am that too. I don't know. She was a cow, whatever her name was. Right, the girl. Well, also, Australia. another great one from you. Cow. A cow. A cow. That's not that. You, Burke. 
you cow. <laughs> cow. You silly cow. Yes. Whoa. She was, was a silly cow. You silly Why cow. I agree. That? Silly cow behaviour. But also, they're in college, which means they're between yes. the ages of 16 and 18. Yeah. Yes. I was so, a silly cow. Were, were you? No, not really. But <laughs> I was the girl. I was the her of the... Of the situation when I was six, the nasty like, one. No, the one that I found. I remember I fancied um, this guy, and my friend oh, shagged right. him, which was fine because I didn't. It, it was he's not mine. Mm. You know, no, like, no. fair game. Um, so that's my belief. But also, timing is always um, well. Timing is of the essence, and also timing is is like always right. So maybe if she'd met him then, they wouldn't have had such a nice time. There you go. Good a few point. years later, also Good you don't point. want to meet the love of your life at eighteen. You don't. No, you don't. Disastrous. Yes. Disastrous. You just Disastrous. want to have a few more years of um, lols. Yeah. lols. But I have had that happen to me before. Mm. Many, I'm actually, to think. multiple I must times. Have. And also more recently, me and my friend, um, if we go on a night out and there's an attractive person mm. that is flirting with both of us, we'll make we'll 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 say like I fancy her, you fancy her. I yeah. challenge Depending, the, and you're to yes. battle. Yes, and then we have a fist fight. Yeah. and then no, yes. um, no. But we t I tend to go like, oh, I'm not that bothered. Like you go for it, or right. vice versa. Yeah, to be fair, so I guess adult I'm conversations. not that bothered. There's you often, go for it. There has well, it might it. be that I can't be asked that night. Yes, you know indeed. what I mean. I do. I can't be bothered to put the. You knew if you tried. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, not that. But you know, you do have no. those things where you're like, yeah, yeah. I really fancy that person. Yes. If that person's like, yeah. oh no, but I really fancy them and I'm getting a vibe mm. with them, I'd be like, go for it. Go for it, hun. There's yeah. been a few crossovers with George and I, my housemate. Oh yeah. Where have like, we will sort of match with the same girl on Hinge and then we're like, oh, oh, wow. oh. fuck. That's oh. annoying. Or also like, that I'll, like, then it's like, I'll like this girl on Hinge and then they'll just match with George. Oh, awesome. Also, oh, why is Hinge awesome. so small? I've had that as well small. where, I, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. I, my friend snogged a girl, I snogged a girl and then she snogged a girl a few years later and I was like, yeah, great, good for you. It doesn't bother me. No, I mean, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. snogging. I couldn't, couldn't care less. Couldn't care less, another like, great phrase. Couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. Oh, I used to love a snog. Yeah, Snogging's I great. Love, oh. oh, Lisa, I couldn't tell you how much I love snogging. Love yeah, me snog. neither. I love a smooch. I like yeah. calling it a smooch, smooch as well. Smooch is a nice Are word. you a snog? Will you lean in on a first date to... Sorry, Lisa. No, no. Would you lean in and snog a girl on the first date? Obviously, you know, w with consent attached to that. But mm -hmm. would you be the first to make the move? Yeah, yeah. Good stuff from you. I love a smooch so much. Same. I love smooching. I would... I would I'm sometimes, sort Sometimes, of... like, generally more than sex sometimes. Yeah. And that's hot. From a guy, that's hot because that's Aww. true. Because it's more intimate, I yeah, think. Some in some is. scenarios, and less complicated. Yeah, yeah, indeed. And less pregnancy for straight people in kissing well, there than there is, is in um, sexual intercourse. There is that. But that's a biological <laughs> fact. There, wait, I, there's what? Sorry, I totally think there's less chance of getting pregnant from kissing. That is so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it has less. happened a few times much to me. Though. Yeah, much less. Much it less. Yeah, it's happened a few times yeah. to you. It's, has but it? it was weird. I yeah. kissed him and the baby just came straight. And it just came out. <laughs> Yeah, that is weird, isn't yeah. it? When that happens, mm. yeah, it's and it's a, yeah, it's it's just, it's it's just shock sometimes, yeah. for sure. When yeah. the baby comes out, yeah, yeah when you're like, oh, sorry, oh, I didn't mm. use protection when I kissed your mouth. Mm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, great, a great smooch is a is a of thing of beauty. Things. Yeah, we haven't answered her question. Oh, oh yeah. So <laughs> the answer is wait, what was her question? Um, it was whether there was we'd... three. Did you? Really I think we have. We well, have. Sort of. We've, we, yeah. yeah. Did you okay. ever have a crush on someone at the same time oh, as your friend? So yeah, we have, Chloe. And I can't remember. Um, it's too far. And I think forgive your friend, but unless they're still acting like that this many years later. Yeah. I think you're allowed when you're yeah. 17, 18 to maybe be a bit possessive over the boy that you fancy. Mm -hmm. But as long as that hasn't bled into sort of. Yeah, your... but what annoyed me about it was that she hadn't actually. This girl hadn't done the nasty girl. I'm going to call her. Mm. Hadn't done anything about it. She just said. Keep off it. That's quite a normal thing at school, I think. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Well, no, I think you have to get on with it. If you're going to, you know. I was the girl that let I've... everyone to do whatever they wanted. And then I just went, okay, cool. And then oh. I was a lesbian, so it didn't even matter. <laughs> well, no. Good point. Good point. It was all meant to be. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. We only had time for one question. This oh, week. gosh, because we've waffled we've on waffled so much. So well. Oh, I've we've had so... Do we have to end? We're I'm not ending the, yet. No, we're oh, not. Oh, don't, don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry. more. Because Thank you've got that. something to tell my mum. Oh, yeah. Oh, in the section we like to call, Mum, I've got something to tell you. Mum, mm, I've got something to tell um, you. This is where <laughs> I give our guests the opportunity to have that difficult conversation that they've always put off having with their own parents mm. and have it with my mum instead. Indeed. Maybe you broke the TV years ago, blamed it on a sibling. 
Mm. Not that. Not that. Or snuck out the house when she thought you were asleep. Whatever it is, Not this that. is your chance Not to come clean. Mm -hmm. So Harriet, Here take we go. the stage. Well, I want to caveat this with, I actually called my mum about this because me and <laughs> I am so close with my mum. I said, I said, you're never going to guess what I've been asked. And she's like, what? And I was like, I've been asked to tell um, something that I've never told you. And she was like, there is nothing. nothing. Wow. There well, is that's nothing. that's very good. Um, because I share everything and a lot of the time she laughs in my face. As Aww. in like, even if I've done something. Something really naughty. naughty. But I'm going to tell you something extremely naughty that I did, but also a bit of a sleigh from me. Um, so I lived in a, a small village as a kid um, with one shop, one village shop. Right. Um, owned by a man who used to take his top off a lot at um, event, uh, sort of like the Not summer the fate, the fate. No. Yeah. But he had a lovely body. <laughs> one I will say 50, that. Please. Oh, did he? And some. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't in a weird way. Right. I just oh. remember as a child being like, do you know what? He's got a lovely physique. Okay. Really? Yeah. Anyway, side note. Okay. So I went into the shop with my best friend and we were like, shall we go? I think I was probably 14 or 15. And bearing in mind this village was about 100 people, if not yeah. less, 18. So everyone knew everybody. Everybody knew everybody. Um, and so I went into the shop and I, um, my friend was like, shall we try and buy some vodka and cigarettes? Oh. Having, bearing in mind, I'd never smoked a cigarette Mm. Um, and I don't think oh. I tried vodka. And I thought, do you know what? Let's go in with the energy of someone who is 30. Because what does a 30-year-old buy? They buy a bottle of vodka and a 20-pack of Marlboro Lights. Mm. So I thought, that's the, almost the cover-up. If I go in and ask for a Smirnoff Ice and a Freddo, they're going to know I'm They'll borderline know. 17, 18. Yeah, yeah. Or it could be a double bluff. Yeah. No, no, mm. Yeah, I don't think it would it's work. Too risky. Um, so I went in and I I said to the person on the till, hello, can I have a bottle of, a small bottle of vodka and a packet of Marlboro Lights? Just literally as I'm saying it now, and a packet of 20 Marlboro Lights. With that face. With this face. Nice. Mm, good face. Can I get that? Sorry. Oh, yeah, that is good. Because yeah. this is my yeah. face of, I've just finished a big day big at the meeting. office where I was telling Crunching others... Numbers numbers and I was yeah. crunching them and also my assistant was saying stuff and that's what happened yeah, it, and then I'm here to relieve myself and buy myself a small bottle not of basic fog. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you said that, not me. <laughs> oh, like mother like was son and I love to see you it. Yeah, right. No, yeah. it wasn't actually no. him, sadly. It wasn't <laughs> oh, the guy okay. who owned okay. the shop. Right. It, and this guy just like flicked his eyes up and he went, Mate, I literally know your parents. Oh, I know your age. I was there when you were born. Oh. And I said, <gasps> joke. That was a joke. <clears throat> that was a joke. And then here's the cruncher yeah. that my mum, this, my mum to this day doesn't know. Oh. I called my mum because I was like, fuck, this is DEFCON 1. <laughs> I have just tried to go into my local shop and order. And he was like, I'm literally going to tell your mum. And I was oh like, my God. well, you're a snake. For yes, one. a snake. Mm. And secondly, Good it was one. a joke. And I said it like that. It was a joke. joke. Obviously, it was a joke. Um, <laughs> so I left, left, and it must have been like 15, because I remember this was a time when my mum, uh, I think I used to borrow my mum's mobile phone. Mm -hmm. So I called her. She was at her mate's. I called the home phone of where she was at, because she gave me the phone whilst, you know, she was at a dinner party or lunch party or something. And I said, Mum... <laughs> And I did that, <laughs> mum. <laughs> me and me and Kate were at the shop, and as a joke, <laughs> I said, "Can I buy a bottle of vodka and some Marlboro Lights?" And she went, "Oh, <laughs> how funny!" And I was like, "Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was funny." And she went, "And?" And I was like, "He thought I was being serious, as if he knows oh. he was there when I was born. Honestly. He knew when I was born." <gasps> She fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Oh, wow. Because one thing about my mum, gullible AF. Gullible. <gasps> gullible AF. Oh, so, wow. Lisa, what do you think about that? Well, double so lie if there. I was your mother, mm. and I've just heard that for the first time, she's going to be on the blower, isn't she? Yeah. And she's going to say, you made a fool out of me, isn't mm. she? Yeah. You naughty, naughty girl. Yeah. You made a fool out of me. But I then think she's going to piss herself laughing. I'd, it would be one of those things. I do yeah. wonder because whether she pretended to to believe me, then got off the phone, did. went yeah. back to the dinner party, and was yeah. like, "You're never going to guess what Harriet's just mm. done." Yes, uh, good point. Good point. I wonder if she was double bluffing me. Double wow. bluffing you. You see. But also, I love that. So, mm. when uh, did Arthur ever do anything like that when he was a kid, where you told him off and then went to your husband and like pissed your pants with laughter? <laughs> um. 
Ooh, Ooh. there now. Uh, well, uh, not that I can think of. Off the top I, of there's my head. one time that I, I, I that I think you must know there was something weird going on. Oh dear. I actually, we need to talk about. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. No, so oh it, I, I got tea. dropped off after smoking a lot of weed. Did oh, you? I bet you were like this. And I thought you weren't going to be up, and you were up in the kitchen, and you were like, and I was like, and I, I think I even had well, your eyes really. I think red. I even had a joint like. Resting on my ear. <laughs> that is giving. You're giving me the ick for being so overly no, I was confident. That you walk into your ick. own but because houses. it was like t- it was like one a.m. or something. I just did. And like, what were you doing? I don't know. I, I, maybe I woke you, and you came into the kitchen, and I was like, oh fucking. It. And I remember like you came, like you were sort of coming close, and I literally ran around the island of the kitchen, <laughs> like to avoid you. By the way, you can like, smell it from like yeah, four and you or five meters hu- away. And you as wanted well. to hug me, and I was like, no, 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 no. And I like, ran to the toilet, but I was like, I, I, I mean, I remember looking in the mirror, like, God, I look. So I literally stunned. have no recollection yeah, of wow, this. Yeah, wow, that's great. I was probably pissed. And yeah. that's the funny thing is I think yeah. we think our parents yeah. can tell things that they just have, they are oblivious Really? I thought the yeah. other way around. I thought they sort of pretend to be oblivious, but yeah, maybe I'm... Um, well, maybe on I'm that, okay, I really don't remember yeah. that. Mm. I really don't remember You really that. made an impact on her life. Mm. Yeah. You must remember the, the time with the heroin, though. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that because you know I was involved. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually obsessed with you, Lisa. The banter is twenty out of ten. Banter. The well, banter is. I'm glad that you've got that off your chest as well. Yeah, no, god, I mean, that's like, really weird, isn't I it? Got away I don't with remember it. that. Could have got away with it. We went for those meddling kids stoners. Mm. I will tell you one. That's sorry. You just leaned into another secret that's too funny because my mum reminded me of this on the phone, and she was laughing when she said it. Which was when I walked into a room where other people were smoking weed. I smelled the weed, <gasps> became high, apparently oh, in my own brain. <laughs> went and had a shower and was quite sobbing in the shower. My mum comes oh. in. She's having a dinner party downstairs. She comes she in. She loves a like, dinner party. She lo- loves. Oh my god! This was party. like the remember it's the noughties. It's oh, yeah. all dinner giving parties. dinner no, parties. Oh, it's the tens, not the noughties. The tens. The tens was all about a prawn cocktail babe anyway she comes in and she's like what is going on why are you sitting on the floor of the shower crying and i said i'm I'm high and she said what and i was like i'm high i went into a room and i smelled marijuana and now i'm high and i can't get down she did exactly she was like this she was like this but she was trying to be a sympathetic mum she was like crying with laughter she was like darling it's okay (laughs) but she was like absolutely apoplectic she could not like fathom how I could be how you thought that that listen I was an anxious thing mm, Mm. I was an anxious girly pop as a kid yeah yeah I lived my I lived my naughty years in my late 20s early 30s I'm not gonna lie I'm still living them. You are. You go. Yeah. You're era. in your slut, slut era. era. In, as Lisa says, I'm in my slut era. There you yeah. go. Too right. Too right. <laughs> oh, is that it? That's it. Oh, this boo. is, you We've guys are great fun. Far. I want to hang out with you yeah, guys. Yeah, right you're lovely. You, Harry, you can yeah. come again. Mm. Also, you can really tell why he's so funny because you're so funny. <gasps> oh, oh, don't Arthur. tell dad that. Oh, no, but I'm sure <laughs> no. I'd meet him and find him funny. <laughs> of course, yeah. I yeah. think he's probably also hilarious. He's quite funny. And just to let him know, I wasn't hitting on your wife. No. I was only having a lol. <laughs> a lol. <laughs> promise you. Promise yeah. you I never, ever hit on married women. Except no, for today, no. which was a joke. Yeah. But also, exactly. if you were single, of course. But I know what you're content. like with your jokes. Yeah. Of now course, I if know. you were single. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying, you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. Fine. Don't worry. It's Also, you're fine. attractive as well. Nice. Good for you. Good save. Good, good, yeah, yeah. Good for good. you, Arthur. Thanks. Mm. Thanks. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend yet? No, I don't. No. I don't. Oh, would you, would you, would you, would I know I wanted to have a girlfriend. Do you want to have a girlfriend? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. I think uh, I, I, for, for, I haven't. That's a very does. mum, that's a very mum response. Say, oh. To be fair, I would say the, it's a no because he hasn't said yes. No, no, no. Oh. Listen, listen, listen. I, I, wa- I have wanted one desperately for a long time, but and until now. I would say the last year or so. And now you're in your slut era. No, I'm just like, <laughs> I have a busy. thing where, yeah, I when I have had something close to a girlfriend, I've been very obsessed, and it takes over my whole entire life. Same, bro. Yes. And now yeah. everything seems to be going well career-wise. I, w- I'm quite like, I think it would ruin it. Do you know what's right. nice is yeah. getting to no, a point that. where yeah. that is the thing that you know. Yeah. We all do that. Yeah, it's yeah. so yeah. relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. Is that then it just, the, the right person who's not going to make you feel exactly. obsessive is going to pop in. You're going to be like, oh, this oh, is a lovely yeah. 
complement to my life exactly. as opposed to an yes. obsession yes. that you need to follow yes. every second of the yeah. day. Yes, yes, yes. And it's me. It's me. <laughs> it's I'm not be. gay. Yeah, I'm yeah. not really Big gay. Reveal. Yeah. 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 Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah. Oh, oh, can you not you be gay? You would love that. I you would love that. that. I do really like lesbians yeah. in general. Oh, I get on well with lesbians. Can't you become a lesbian? <laughs> yeah, maybe. But yeah, you could. Maybe. If you, yeah. if you, you know, like I get on with men like you because you, mm. you have similar attributes to... Um, <laughs> People that aren't <laughs> hyper masculine. Mm, well worded. Yeah. Thank nice. you. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. And we're not into the hyper masculine, Lisa. We're mm. not. No, I hate all that. Don't you try and make me be friends with Arnold Schwarzenegger because I won't be. Oh. <laughs> no. No. I won't be. Why not? <laughs> Get to the chopper. I'll be back. Nice. That Everyone did yeah, really well yeah, there. That was, that was quite good. Three it was. across the three board. Really yeah. good um, impersonations. Let's end on that. I don't think we can end no, on, on a better, better impression. But you left a great one. Hey! Oh, oh, my drop. Bless wow. him. I've got nothing to say because wow. that was stunning. Wow. <laughs> but thank you for coming on, Harriet. Thank yes. you so much. Thank it was you, lovely Harriet. to see you again. And I hope to see you soon. Maybe as a thruple with... I would love yeah. to come over oh, to your yes. house for dinner oh, because yes. I feel like I'd have a laugh riot. I'm yeah, I'd like to say weird. that was not us being a thruple. That was insinuated as... You... A thruple can be non-sexual. No, but you, my dad... And not me. I would obviously... So what you're suggesting oh, hang is hang I'm going to have what? a thruple with your parents. It's better than us That's three. That's a little bit weird. Yeah. I, I, I'd is rather it see it than be <laughs> involved, yeah. I think. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made yeah. me laugh. Oh. <laughs> Come on then. Sorry, that's really... You've really made me laugh. I feel like we would... If we had alcohol involved here too, it would oh be... Oh my God, it would be horrendous. Oh. We've got to do it. It mm. would be illegal, I think. It. Well, <laughs> illegal. Always, <laughs> always remember, listen and watch new episodes every Wednesday. And if you need her advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for my mum to read, slide into the DMs. Careful. <laughs> on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message on WhatsApp on 07822. No. no. 013837. <laughs> and no matter what the issue. I will ask her. Mm. And don't forget. No, don't You can forget. still buy tickets to the first ever Mummy's Boy Pod live show. I'm going to get tw- tickets. Yeah. Yes, you, you, can, you can come, come. on. Yeah. On the 22nd of May in the capital city of England, London town. Yeah. Just <laughs> head to Mummy's Boy Pod on Instagram and click the link in the bio. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Buy tickets because that was one of the funniest experiences of my life. <laughs> <laughs> we love her. Excellent. It's mommy's boy